If you feel like everything you do makes your pain worse, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna show you why your chronic pain may not be going away and a strategy you can use to improve it. This video is not for people who only have pain with a few specific movements. This approach to pain could actually make you worse, so please don't take this approach unless you feel like everything you do makes your pain worse. There is a time and a place to push through pain, and there is a time and a place to reduce aggravating movements. This video does not apply to everyone, and if you need personalized assistance, please consult with your healthcare provider. So here's something that very few people talk about in regards to pain. Your nervous system is like an overprotective parent. The longer you stay in pain, the more it freaks out. And just like that parent, it starts overreacting to everything. Here's what may actually be happening in your body. Every time you sit in that chair that hurts your back or sleep in that position that kills your neck, your brain is taking notes. It's literally becoming an expert in your pain, but oftentimes not in a good way. Think about it like this. If you touch a hot stove once, that pain that you get is going to protect you in the future. It's a reminder to never do that again. I've actually done that when I was a kid and I haven't done it since, thankfully. But when you've been in pain for months or even years, your brain can start treating everything like a hot stove. Here's the good news though. We can actually hack this system. So here's a strategy that we use with some of our patients who are in this situation. You need to become your own pain detective. First, you're gonna choose an activity that you do that causes you pain. Then you're gonna start a timer and track how long you can go before the pain kicks in and write down exactly when it hurts. Then when doing this activity in the future, only continue that activity if there's no increase in your baseline pain. If walking causes you pain at 20 minutes, stop at 15 before the pain actually sets in. Continue to repeat this exercise on following days and weeks, again, stopping before the pain actually sets in. Every few weeks, it's okay to test to see if your tolerance has increased. Maybe now you can walk 30 minutes before your pain sets in. So moving forward, you're gonna start walking 25 minutes, again, stopping before that pain sets in. As you continue to do this over months, your nervous system will chill out and your tolerance for activity will start to increase. This is how you can retrain your brain to tolerate more signal without being perceived as pain. Sometimes this requires a huge ego check. You may only be able to start doing three bodyweight squats and that's it for the day because at five squats, your pain gets triggered. You're going to slowly build up your tolerance over time. Remember that your nervous system can change but you need to give it a reason to. This could be that reason.